Tonight, we know it wasn't what Patrick Frazee did in the days after Kelsey Barrett disappeared that set off red flags. It's what he didn't do. Our Sam Kramer was in the courtroom for day two of trial. Well, with around a dozen witnesses taking the stand on this day two of Patrick Frazee's murder trial, there was a really big theme that the prosecution was trying to pursue. It's a deviation from normalcy. We heard from those close to Kelsey, her family, her co-workers, who said they really noticed that the texts coming from her phone after uh, November 22nd, that is the day that police believe that Frazee killed Barrett. They say that those texts were different, whether it's punctuation, uh, word choice, that sort of thing. It just didn't seem right. We also heard from some of the Woodland Park police officers who first responded to this call when it came in as a missing person case. When they walked through her home, they said they really weren't looking for anything to suggest that this was a murder. They were looking instead for a sign of a disturbance, anything to suggest that something happened, maybe Perhaps that she committed suicide. They didn't see any of that. Remember, it was her brother Clint who had come to town looking for her, who noticed that spot of blood on the rim of the toilet December 6th. He said if you really were just looking at the bathroom, you wouldn't have saw it. He had to sit on the toilet to see it. So just it's really they're focusing on anything that's out of the normal, including some neighbor surveillance footage. That is what we wrapped up court with today. They saw Patrick Frazee, according to a neighbor surveillance camera, about 11 times throughout November 22nd. Compare that to just about three or four times that camera hits on normal days. Reporting live from Teller County, Sam Kramer, Denver 7. Now, we expected this trial to move at a crawl. Instead, it is moving lightning fast. So you can read our full coverage of all that happened today on thedenverchannel.com.